Good morning. It's day two of the November 19th uh, eclipse, the eclipse portal between November 19th and December the 4th. I'm here bright and early, makeup free, because guess what? We've got work to do. So let's do it. Get the job done. Right, guys? Okay. Oh my gosh, this says day one, but it's really day two. Ha! It's day two, guys. How is day one? What are you feeling? I asked this in my Facebook group. That post has like 118 comments so far, but I've loved reading everybody's experiences. As we're going through this eclipse portal, um, the important thing to remember is that how it affects each of us is going to be really different because all of us are different. Um, astrologically speaking, when you took your first breath, you had a chart like the how the night sky was arranged at the moment of your own first breath. Um, you know, your stars are going to look really different from everybody else's stars on the planet, basically. And as, you know, the sun and the moon are going around and Venus and Mars and Pluto and Uranus, they're going to be triggering different parts of your chart. So this is why um, eclipse energies are big and they're impacting everybody. But some people are going to have a really good day. Some people are going to have a really bad day. Um, how it affects each of us individually will depend on our own individual energy that we're bringing to the situation. So anyway, if you want to come and share, the Facebook group is Intuitive Healing with Ali Duzette. It is hopping and it's very fun. So come and share with us what is going on with you with this eclipse if you want to. Eclipses unzip our energy field. So during this eclipse portal, pretty much it's like the heavens were just like, and they just unzipped us. And now our energy is kind of a little bit more volatile right now it's going to be shifting a lot more right now um i loved somebody's comment on yesterday's thread about um the eclipse energy when i asked like how did day one go and she said she felt like she could do a lot more emotional healing work during this time and she listed all the stuff that she did and i i was like mind blown like oh my gosh she is doing so much this is so good so um we can get a lot more work done during this two-week window. That's great. Um, again, tapping can reset your physical body organs. We're working with meridian lines. Um, and your belief systems and your subconscious mind are inside of your physical body, okay? So that is one reason why <clears throat> tapping can help reset your belief systems and your subconscious mind. Your thoughts are not just this, like, nebulous concept your thoughts are things and they literally have space inside your own body and so when we're resetting the physical body with tapping and combining it with what's called tapping scripts we're resetting the subconscious mind we can reset our physical body can you hear my baby in the background hey baby what are you doing okay let's go ahead and tap maybe i'll go grab my little baby um but these are the tapping scripts so you can go ahead i like to just tap on my collarbone you can tap on your forehead you can tap on your knees or whatever you want hey come here weirdo but these are the scripts that we're gonna say okay i give myself permission to have all my physical body needs met today let's do that again we'll do each of these let's do each of these three times i give myself permission to have all my physical body needs met today I give myself permission to have all my physical body needs met today. Whew. It is safe for me to receive the things my body needs. It is safe for me to receive the things my body needs. It is safe for me to receive the things my body needs. It could be safe for me to receive the things my body desires. It could be safe for me to receive the things my body desires. It could be safe for me to receive the things my body desires. It can be safe for me to care for my physical body today. It can be safe for me to care for my physical body today. It can be safe for me to care for my physical body today. You put your hand on your heart and just breathe in. Ooh. Um, yeah, our bodies want what's best for us. So it's good to listen to them. Even if our bodies are craving things that we know are not good, the thing, what we have to understand about the body is that when that happens, it's because your body is trying to process 
it's, it's trying to keep you safe. So for example, if you're craving like food that you know is going to make you unhealthy or like overweight, um, your body still has your best interest in mind, but your body is coming from this place of being overweight is going to protect me from people who want to hurt me. It's going to keep me under the radar. Like people won't pay attention to me. I need to be invisible or it's going to protect me from some kind of abuse or harassment. Your body always has your best interests in mind when when your body is telling you to do stuff that you're like, this is a bad idea, but my body wants it. That's when you have to listen to your body. You have to go talk to it. You have to have a conversation with your body. Okay. So, uh, and you're trying to figure out what's going on. And so that is what we're kind of doing today. And hopefully not a lot of time. This doesn't have to take 10 hundred years, like just opening up the, just opening up the gates and saying, body, I do want to hear what you have to say. That is the most important thing. So if you skip the rest of this video, just say, body, what do you want me to know today? And just listen. If You might not have an answer come immediately, but over the next couple of days, you will. Um, okay, <clears throat> scribbling, it's one of my favorite techniques. I'm going to put a link to that video at the end of this video. But um, if you go to alliedusette.com slash scribbling, um, that has a full instructional with the video, but additional written instructions because I made that video before I fully understood what I was doing, which still works, but it has more instructions at the website. Um, so I recommend that. And then I actually wrote an entire book about this technique because it has some more nuance to it than you would think. And uh, that book has a lot of instructions on how to use it for things like weight loss, which I mentioned because it's a big one for a lot of people. It talks about how I scribbled myself into a new house, this house. And so um, check it out if that sounds fun. Okay, but for scribbling today, you read the instructions. The label for the top of your paper can be my resistance to listening to my body. And if that's too big, you know, follow the instructions to kind of smash that up and then scribble it out a little bit at a time. Other ideas for today are gonna be, um, it's hard to hear my body. I can't hear my body or I'm afraid of what my body has to say. All of those scripts, you're going to scribble them out. It's called a kinesthetic transmutation of energy. You're taking the part of yourself that feels like it is hard to hear your body, and you're going to actually shake it out with like physical motion. You're going to burn it like you would burn fat, but you're like burning these emotions with your motion. And, um, and then you'll see for yourself how scribbling like that can release your blocks and things just start to flow to you. You're going to receive a lot more information from your body. Your journaling prompt for today, body, what needs do you have that are going unmet? Body, how can I serve you today? You know, pick one of those, pick both of them, write them out one at a time, and then you just skip a line and just write down whatever comes into your mind. You don't judge it. If it feels like you're making it up, the news flashes, it's your body. So like, yes, you are making it up. Your body is making it up. Um, your brain is part of your body. So you don't have to say, oh, but it feels like I'm making it up. Yes, you want it to be made up. You want to make it up. It's you, you. it's your body. So yeah, just let whatever comes into your mind, flow into your mind and write it down. Writing is important. You want that physical record and you want to show your body you're taking it seriously. So write down what comes into your mind and um, use that to inform your decisions today. And in the coming couple of days, you might have some big experiences with this journaling. If you have never talked to your body before, um, the time has come. This is the time we, we have to start connecting with our physical bodies. This is why we're here on this earth to have a body, you know, to be an embodied spirit. And so this, our, our tabernacle of flesh is, you know, one of God's greatest gifts to us. We need to be communicating with it and listening to what it has to say and meeting its physical needs. So, um, so, okay, that should keep you busy today. And, uh, Enjoy the eclipse portal, guys. We're doing it. You're rocking it. Good job.